Donna here. I haven't made a video in a really long time. Um, my four year E-Day anniversary came and went. I have been working mad hours at my job, which I quit recently. I took up a part-time job. I reopened my soap business. I am in my kitchen without my lower dentures in. See, still me, because um, at the four year mark, and this happens about twice a year, uh, I have dropped another tooth, but I caught it this time before I swallowed it. And I have to work in the morning and it is 8.43 at night. So the affordable dentures here that honors my warranty repairs is not open and I cannot get in there and get my dentures fixed before tomorrow morning when I have to be at work at 8 a.m. So I am thankful that I have a repair kit in my kit. Well, it's in my kitchen now, it was in my bathroom. Um, <laughs> I have a repair kit and here's how this comes in handy. Okay, so here's the denture in question. All right, it's my lower. So um, as you can see, it looks just fine. But what I noticed, I was chewing on a piece of ice which I probably shouldn't do. Water on my counter. Um, and my tongue caught a sharp edge on the front row here. And what that is, if I can remember, it's this tooth right here. I don't have a tripod. Um, why don't I have a tripod for my phone? I'm so unprofessional. Let me see if I can find something to lean this against. Oh, the magic of videography. <laughs> okay, this is a really awkward angle for me. But anyway, what I say is this tooth right here. Yep, see that? It is coming out. I'm going to go ahead and take that all the way out. There we have it. And that could have been a disaster if I had swallowed that. Just to show you what I had in my cabinet, there it is. So I'm going to clean this really well. I'm going to sterilize both pieces with rubbing alcohol and make sure it is good and dry. And we will jump right back with a cut, uh, a cut jump, jump skip. That's what we used to call that, a jump skip. Uh, after that's done and I will show you how to use this to take care of this problem quite permanently, I might add, because this one has already been done with it. Um, and uh, six months later, I've had no issues. Not only that, but the last time this was in for repair, my dentist and the lab techs at Affordable Dentures did not notice that there was a repair that had been done that they did not do. And they honored my warranty anyway. So I'm going to clean and sanitize this and we'll be right back. Okay, as promised, uh, jump skip completed. Now, do note that on this box, it does say that this is for emergency repair only. Um, Long-term use of an improperly repaired denture may cause serious problems. See your dentist as soon as possible. I will be seeing my dentist um, if this breaks again within two weeks, but if not, my experience has been it will go ahead and continue to hold. And the nice thing about this kit is it does not make a giant mess to make it apparent that you have done your own uh, repair. There we have our nice clean, jank ass, busted ass denture. What you will find in this kit, and this kit was like six bucks. It's enough stuff to repair three times. I don't know what this picture up here is. I've never seen a denture break like that. I've never, mine has never broken like that. I cannot recommend this kit for that type of repair, but for replacing teeth, it's amazing. So this is my last, my last use out of this kit. So tomorrow after work, I will be going to get another kit because I like it so damn much. It is handy to have this in the house. Um, if I have time for an appointment, I go to and make an appointment and have the dentist repair my denture according to the warranty. But otherwise, it's this guy. So let me just put this. And no, they did not call me and ask me to make this video 
clearly I did not break <laughs> my dentures on purpose. Um, so what comes in the kit, you get three of these little, little cuppy doos. It's just a little, it looks like pills belong in it, but it's a little mixing cup. There is a plastic stirrer slash applicator stick, a piece of sandpaper. This is not so important, but I like that they put this in here just in case. Um, there is the repair powder and the repair liquid. You are going to be mixing together acrylic, just like you do with your soft uh, reline kit, your reline it kit, if you're still buying those. Um, similar smell, similar consistency, same color, it's that pink acrylic. So what we wanna do first, and mind you, I'm reaching over my phone, so, and there's like a box right here that I have my, my phone propped up on, so if this looks awkward, I promise you it is. Um, so we're gonna take the side of the tooth that goes into the denture has this little hole in it. And if you look, there is a corresponding, that's how they get it to sit. See the little bump down inside of the hole that the denture came out of, or that the tooth came out of? See the little, the little bump in the denture? We want that to fit right back in there exactly the way that it came out. Um, but we wanna give it something to grab onto the acrylic. Do not take your sandpaper to any other surface of your denture teeth, period. This is where the acrylic is gonna be. It's gonna run itself up on the sides just a little bit, but you do not want a rough tooth surface to give your tongue something annoying to do for the rest of the time that you own your dentures. So I'm gonna make sure that I have this part out. And I'm just gonna take a couple of swipes this, is this way, just to rough it up just a little bit, and then a couple of swipes in the other direction. Whoa, and that ought to be good enough. Now I'm gonna bring it off camera, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with my alcohol again. See, there's my alcohol bottle. You know it's alcohol because I wrote it on the bottle. I make soap and I keep giant bottles of alcohol to sanitize equipment and packaging and whatever. So yeah, that's the thing that's in my house. So I've got that sprayed down. Fingers are clean. I washed my hands while I was off camera earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this up with a clean, shiny clean paper towel because this started off sanitary when we started, and we know this has been in the box, this guy, but we don't know who had their mitts on it before it went in the box. So sanitize everything, because this is going into your mouth later, okay? So what we do next, we're gonna put this aside. We are not going to do anything to the main denture. Nothing, absolutely nothing. So next, and in the box you will also find instructions. I've read these instructions so many times I already know what I'm doing. You're gonna take your powder first, open it up and put it in a little cup. Like so, all of it. You're not gonna use all of it because this is an itty bitty tooth in an itty bitty space, but use all of the powder that comes in the pouch. Then, and because I'm a giant wuss and I'm afraid that if I rip this open, I'm going to get it on me. We're going to take this guy and cut it open where it says open here. You can feel free to rip yours if you are confident in your ability to not manhandle it all over your counter. I am not, so that's me. Scissors as proof that I'm a toddler. All right, and then you're gonna put this in here as well. Now, while I'm mixing this, I'm going to tell you because I don't have a lot of time to sit here and let you look at it and explain, I'm going to start mixing this right away um, with this end of the stick. And you want to get into the corners and swirl this around as much as you can. I really wish I had a tripod right now, but you want to go back and forth in all directions. Do not slosh it up 
on the edges because the ratio is correct of the liquid to the powder and you want to keep stirring this up until you have a consistency like honey. If you can pull this out of here and it does not pull up with it in a, in a line, you have not mixed it for long enough. Typically for me, this takes between one and two minutes. If you have something that looks like um, chewed up bubble gum, you're gonna need to start over because that is not going to be undetectable by your dentist if you have to go in for another repair later and it is not going to seat correctly the tooth. Uh, if you use it at that consistency. So honey good, chewed up bubble gum bad. So we're just gonna, and you see it's getting a little bit thicker as we go. See it kind of follows the stick when we pull it out of there. But we wanna keep mixing. A good indicator is that the stick will start to make lines, run it around the edges every once in a while just to make sure that you're mixing it as well as you possibly can. But Again, I wish I had a tripod so I could give you a top-down view, but it's it's starting to get that honey consistency. It doesn't quite have it yet, but I'm starting to make trails in the material. So probably another 10 to 15 seconds or so. But as you can see, see it's starting to, to be a lot stickier here. I don't, I mean, you can't over mix it, but you can certainly mix it for too long. So, and I have a tendency to use it when it's a little runny, just because the application is a little cleaner, because just like with your denture adhesive on your upper denture, this is going to run out when you put the tooth into place. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to scoop a little bit of this up and we're gonna put a drop of it right down in there and then we're gonna take our tooth, and I can't do this on camera, I'm sorry, I have to be able to see what I'm doing. And we're gonna tap it down into the hole in the tooth. Then, since I am right-handed, I'm going to take my right hand, and take my glasses off my damn face, and put this tooth back where it belongs. Okay. And that fits right back in take our paper towel and wipe off the excess there and in the back so that it is flush and not chunky and weird. And it's starting to harden already. If you can tell, there's like little flakes. I wanna make sure that I'm getting those little flakes off before they set up completely because those will become a permanent part of your denture if you do not make sure that we don't have anything funky happening at the gum line on this side and that we don't have anything attached to the top edge of the denture to give our tongue something to play with for the rest of the time that we own the denture put this aside so i don't have a hellacious accident with it and there you have it we are going to let that sit for about 10 minutes thankfully i am at home where it is fine to be toothless um, the directions do say to hold it in place for one minute um, and then allow it to sit for an additional four minutes. I don't particularly like the taste of acrylic, <laughs> so I leave it sit for longer. Okay, I do want to take just a quick moment and address the idea that, and I'm making no guarantees that you're not going to get caught of uh, avoiding your warranty if you do this. But the idea, because I took a toothpick and kind of dug out in between the teeth and that kind of thing um, so that it doesn't look unnatural. It doesn't look anything different. Like it doesn't look like there's, ugh, the focus on this thing sucks. It doesn't look like there's food stuck in between the teeth. Like right here, it kind of does, but that imperfection was there before. So I kind of wanted to leave that intact. Okay, so we are all repaired. There is no like rough spot going on on the back side of my teeth. The front feels good. It doesn't taste funky. 
Um, again, this is a temporary repair. If this comes out again, uh, I'm gonna be going to the dentist, but I just, I, I can't get in and done at Affordable Dentures before work in the morning. I just can't. So again, it looks like this. You can pick this up at Walgreens, Walmart, CVS, wherever you buy Tylenol. I, I mean, it's everywhere. It's everywhere and it's cheap. And you get three repairs and it's cheap. It's not expensive. These are expensive. This is not expensive. These are not going to continue to break the bank for you after you have them made and installed. This is cheap. Go get this. Keep this around just in case. I promise you I'm so glad that I had this in my cabinet um, tonight because, I, like I say, I got caught that sharp edge and I went, oh, uh-uh. And I ran to get this and then I thought, you know what, let me make a video. But again, I make no guarantees that you are not going to get caught busting your warranty by doing this. Yeah, <laughs> questions, comments, you know where to leave them. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.